So today we're gonna be showing you one of the best, if not the best, solo player build for farming shade levels fast and efficient. If you guys haven't already noticed, the fastest way to farm shade levels currently is no longer resource convoys, but it is doing open world activities, especially those public executions and then propaganda broadcasts. Now, just doing open world activities as a whole is really good because you just have so many that are right next to each other, which allows you to chain a chunk of XP very fast. Now, this is also doing it on the hardest difficulty heroic and having five directives out. So you won't be hindered with any type of play style because this build is built around five directives, being able to do those, but also being able to one tap those enemies and allowing you to finish these activities fast. Most of these activities have one max two waves. So that's what's good about it, right? You, you clear one wave, you get another wave in, boom, you're done. And then you can head to the next one. And even though this build is running a ton of reds, because of the way we have the gear set set up, it allows us to just really get through this pretty quick. Just look, look at that. Boom, 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 enemies dropping. Then we just have to go look at the other one. So for me, I really feel the public executions getting around 518, I, I believe, thousand XP is amazing. And you literally just have to look for the waves. Once you find the waves, just keep searching for them and then you can knock them out. And this build does that. The good thing about the weapon I'm using is it has some range on it too. So we'll be showing you guys exactly how you guys want to have this build set up and some tips and tricks to make sure that the talent is proccing. Now, if you notice on my primary pistol, if your talent isn't proccing the way it should, make sure you unequip it, re-equip it, and it will make the talent work as intended. So just a little tip for a lot of you guys who may have trouble with this talent, whether you're using this build or my sniper build. Let's get into the builds. So for the build we are running, our primary is gonna be the Desert Eagle, right? The D50. So we have pistol damage, headshot damage on here, and then we have Determine. So what Determine's going to be doing is after killing an enemy with a headshot, the next shot landing on an enemy will be guaranteed headshot. While this talent is active, killing an enemy will not re-trigger the talent. So we have 5% headshot damage on the scope, and this is the build we have right here. Now, if I could get one with damage strikes out of cover, I would probably try that and test it out, see which one does better. But if you don't, you have one with headshot damage, you can do that one. If you notice the base damage on mine, well, the base, my, no, my total damage on this build is 541,000 on this build. So yeah, the reason we went with this is because of Determined and we can continue to get those headshots, body shots, all work. This all changed in season one of year five. So we are running a Hunter's Fury, we're running a four piece. So remember the two piece is gonna give us shotgun, SMG damage, we don't really worry about that. Three piece is gonna give us 20% armor on kill. That's pretty good for us. But what the what really gonna make this build work is Apex Predator. Enemies within 15 meters receive the debuff amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. So that's why having a ton of weapon damage on this build helps out. Now, when you do kill a debuff enemy with your weapon, it disorients other enemies within five meters, and then it also amplifies your weapon damage again by 5% for 10 seconds. Now that can stack up to five times. So technically you can have an additional 25% amplified damage on that. Now for the mass, we have weapon damage, headshot damage, and a headshot damage mod. For the chest piece, we have chain killer. So chain killer, what it's going to do, it's going to work well with Hunter's Fury because remember it's amplifying our weapon damage. So chain killer is giving us 5% weapon damage on here. Plus we're running a two piece, so we're getting 5% damage to armor. So we have weapon damage on here. We have weapon headshot damage, crit chance, and then headshot damage. If you don't wanna have that crit chance, you could put weapon handling. That would could help you out. But ideally, crit chance, a little bit crit damage doesn't hurt the build. Perfect headhunter is what you guys wanna go with because after killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals additional 150% of the killing blows damage. Now damage is capped at 800% of your weapon's damage. This is raised to 1250 if your headshot damage is greater than 150% and it will be, so we'll check that in a few, but Perfect Headhunter, which really makes this build go. Our second piece of Hunter's Fury, we have weapon damage, headshot damage. Our third piece of Hunter's Fury is the knee pads, weapon damage, headshot damage. Our fourth and final piece of Hunter's Fury is um, weapon damage, headshot damage on the gloves. And then for the backpack, we're running the walk and hair. So we're getting that extra 5% damage to armor. We have um, weapon damage, headshot damage, critical damage, headshot damage mod. And then obviously we have vigilance, increased total weapon damage by 25%. 
taking damage disables his buff. We should have this up all the time because of the big shield that we'll be running with this build. If you look, we are running the Bulwark Shield. Now, since we are running the directive, cool skills, you don't want to use your secondary skill. So constantly just use the shield. That's all you need to do. Use the shield and that's all you have to worry about. The second skill doesn't really matter. You're just going to keep using the shield, pull it out, pull it in, pull it out. That's it. That's all you have to worry about on the build. Now, if we go look at the stats, right? Let's go take a look at our pistol. We have 16% crit chance, 55% crit damage, 225% headshot damage. So we're above that 150%, 5% armor damage. And then obviously um, we have no damage targets out of cover on this build. Like I said, if you can get a Desert Eagle with the damage targets out of cover, it's probably going to hit a little bit better. I would have to test it out. I don't have one with the dead D50. So ideally, if you have a Desert Eagle with pistol damage, headshot damage, then um, you can use that pistol damage, damage targets out of cover, test it out, see which one works best for you. I have not tested one out with damage targets out of cover. Um, I just hadn't got one. And this one, if you notice, we put expertise 10 into it. So I'm just running it like this and we're able to one shot the enemy. So this is how I have my build set up. I'm loving it. It's amazing. The two primaries doesn't really matter. Scorpio would be good if you're in trouble getting, getting cover. And then I'm just leveling up the new, um, the new named, SMG. So that's the only reason I have the that on there. But ideally, this is what you're looking for. The D50. That is 100%. You can get, get it with pistol damage, put whatever you want, and then just um, have it set up. So ideally, that's what you want. And then you want to be able to put determined on it. So now remember, take full advantage of the XP. You want to have your global directives all on because it's going to give you 125% extra um, XP. Not only that, you want to have it on the hardest difficulty you can do. So if you can only do challenging, do challenging. But obviously, if you want to get max XP, do it on Heroic. Five directives on. This build works with all five of these directives. And that is why it's one of the best in the business right now for year five, season one. Another thing I did want to mention is with the D50, if you realize Determine isn't proccing the way it should, where you hit body shot, body, body shot, cycle the weapon off and then cycle the weapon back on and it should work. So that means that equip a different weapon on and then re-equip it. But the way it should work is once you proc the first Determine, right? Once you get the first headshot kill procced, you should be able to body shot everything else. Obviously, some tips is focus the red enemies first headshot them if you could proc headhunter twice right you hit the you hit it once you get another headhunter then it makes the purple and gold enemies pretty easy and you'll notice with this build about 14 million we're hitting to the body and that should be able to take out all the enemies so just something for you guys to keep in mind that's what i do i usually focus on the gold enemies first sorry the red enemies first then i swap over to the purple and gold and when you're doing these open world activities that should be very easy for you guys to do we're going to wrap it up here, guys. A, appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. See you guys in the next one. A, nothing but skills is out.